For this project, let's create a still life. I found some stuff just laying around the house that I think the way I've arranged it'll make a really cool picture. For this though, we're not gonna paint, let's use some drawing pencils. I really wanna show you how to use these. And let's mix up some shading and some hatching and cross hatching. Let's take a look at what we're gonna need. This project's gonna be pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna need is some paper. The next thing is I have a set of drawing pencils ranging anything from 6B to 4H. The next thing we might need is an eraser just in case. And of course, I highly recommend using one of these pencil sharpeners. The ones that work on the wall are great, but they're gonna eat through your pencil pretty fast. And the next thing I have just to keep the tips of the pencils healthy, I've got a bag to keep them in. I think that's it, let's get started. One of the most important things when you're trying to create a still life, you need cast shadows. And to do that, you're gonna need a light source. Now I've just got this really simple, very cheap light that I have that I use in my art studio here, which will work perfect. You can use whatever you got, but you need to get it close and direct it towards what you're doing. After setting up the still life, let's start with the outside lines or the contour lines. Remember to keep the pencil light in your hand. And also remember to start with one of the lighter colors. We're gonna go from light to dark with this. After sketching out the outside lines or the contour lines, we need to start looking for some of the reflections or start mapping out where you see dark to light. Let's start adding some shading. We're gonna do this by practicing with some of the different pencils. You can do this by using the edge of the pencil or we're gonna start doing some of that hatching and cross hatching. Really start working those values. After adding the hatching and cross hatching, start going back over and looking for some of the little details where you might see reflective light or some texture that you might have missed. I'm gonna stop for now, but I hope you're getting a chance to see what all these different pencils do. I really, really challenge you, start with the light ones and then work your way up to the darker ones. 
The more you experiment with them and the more you try them out, you really get a feel for the difference between a drawing pencil and your number two pencil. Until next time, remember, be creative, be innovative, and be outrageous. We would love to see what you create. Share your projects with us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook by using hashtag OutrageousNate.